Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to play Bad Day by Daniel Powter and this is a request. Um, so yeah, uh, first we have a capo on one, and then, I'm not going to lie, you need quite a few chords for this song. You need a D, G, A, B minor, E minor, F, B flat, and lots of random ass versions of B minor. So um, if you know how to play those, okay, no. Um, so I'm going to assume you know how to play the chords D, G, A and E minor. So if you don't know how to play the chords F, B flat and B minor, keep watching. And if you know, if you do know all the chords, skip ahead. So high E string, string one, low E string, string six. So F. First of all, there are two ways to play F. There's full bar F or mini bar F. So to play full bar F, what you do is you bar all the strings at the first fret with your first finger. You put your middle finger on the third string, uh, sorry, on the third string, the second fret. Your middle finger on the fifth string, third fret, and your little finger on the fourth string, third fret. Okay, then to play mini bar F, what you do is you bar the first two strings at the first fret with your first finger. You put your middle finger on the third string, second fret, and your ring finger on the fourth string, third fret. So full bar F, mini bar F. So to play B minor, what you do is you bar all the strings at the second fret with your first finger. You put your middle finger on the uh, second string third fret, your ring finger on the fourth string fourth fret, and your ring your sorry, and your little finger on the third string fourth fret. By the way, if I'm going too fast, sorry, I know I am kind of rushing, but there's quite a lot to get through for this tutorial, and I don't really want it to go over like 12 minutes long, because a, it takes so long to upload and totally mucks up like the all the internet for my house, and um. I'm sorry, people get bored. So um, just, you know, pause, rewind, you're in the 21st century, it's all good. Okay, so to play B flat, what you do is you bar all the strings at the first fret, apart from the, the sixth string. So you bar strings one to five at the first fret with your first finger. You put your middle finger on the, what's that? The fourth string, third fret, your ring finger on the third string, third fret, and your little finger on the second string, third fret. So what you do with B flat, is you only kind of strum the first, the kind of middle four strings. I think if you strum all of them, it just sounds horrible. So just strum uh, kind of the middle four strings. Okay, so for this song, um, it's a little bit random. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start at the beginning and just go through it the entire way. So, well, duh. Sorry. Anyway, so uh, first of all, sort of the chord pattern for the intro. So you've got a D, a G an A and a G. Now that chord pattern appears a lot, so it's probably best to remember that. So you've got D, G, A, G. And what you do is you hold each of those chords for four beats. So you have one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. So strumming pattern wise, um, because the song is mostly piano, it's quite hard to put a strumming pattern with it, but um, for the intro and the verse, the first verse, what I recommend is just down strums because it's kind of slow. But um, then when it gets a bit more goey, um, I'll explain. No, I'll, I'll tell you now. So, um... so what that is on each chord, that's just down, down, up, down. So on each chord, that's just down, down, up, down, down, up. So just. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Change chord. Down, down, up, down, down, up. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And if you speed it up, you can kind of make it a bit um, kind of more bouncy sort of thing. So just. Okay, so um, chord pattern for the intro, check, strumming pattern, done. Okay, so for, um, for that chord pattern for the intro, you play that twice. Then you come on to the verse. So the chord pattern for the verse, what you do is the chords used for the intro, D, G, A, G, they come back in again, and uh, you play that chord pattern twice. So the verse, you've got D, G, A, G. Then you have, um, once again, all these chords are for four beats. You then have a B minor, an A, a G, and a D. You then have an E minor for eight beats, and then an A for eight beats. So the chords from the beginning of that verse, so you've got um, D, G, A, G, and then that repeats. Then you have a B minor, B 
with an A, a G, a D, E minor for 8 beats, A for 8 beats. Okay, so then that verse repeats, and then it goes into the chorus. So, the co um, by the way, I'll play this through with the CD afterwards, um, after I've shown you the chorus. So the chord pattern for the chorus changes, actually. There's no D, G, A, G, which is quite depressing. But um, anyway, so the chord pattern for the chorus, you've got a D, a G, an E minor, and an A, and then all that repeats again. And then you've got a B minor, an A, a G, and a D, and then, um, sorry, this is the bit I didn't write down. And then, so this is a bit that goes, you had a bad day, and then, so it goes, you had a bad day twice. So on the first, you had a bad day, at the end you play an E, and then you play, you hold that for four beats, and then you play another A, you had a bad day, and then it goes back into the verse. So, sorry, that, that last bit's kind of confusing, but just listen to the song, you can fit it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to play that along a vet. Cool pattern. You kick up the leaves and the magic is lost. And tell me you blue skies fade to grey. And tell me your passion's Sorry, I've realised that music was probably far too loud. Oh dear. Oh well, it's cool, we can all imagine it. Okay, so um, that was hopefully how it fits in. I'm not sure if you heard that, but anyway. Um, okay, so then you've got the verse, exactly the same chord patterns before. So uh, then you have another chorus, and then you have the bridge. The bridge is the bit that goes sometimes, I don't know, something about systems go and getting on a plane or something rather. Oh yeah, what I was going to say about after the chorus, you've got the second verse, which is a bit that goes, well, you need a blue sky holiday. So that, the, he actually starts singing halfway through the chord pattern for the verse. So he starts singing when you get to the B minor bit, but you you still just play the D, G, A, G bit. Sorry, my dogs are barking, that probably means something. Can I be bothered to move? No. Anyway, my dad's downstairs. So. Okay, so, so yeah, sometimes the system goes on the blink and the whole thing turns out wrong. I like nothing about a plane, but whatever. So the chord patterns for the bridge, um, what you do, you've got an F, a B flat, then you've got another F, and a B flat, and then you've got an A. And you just hold each of those for four beats, so just F, B flat, F, B flat, A. So then you've got the bit that goes, so where is the passion when you need it the most? This is the chord pattern for the intro. And um, that chord pattern goes through twice for the bit that. So where's oops, whoops, eh? So where's the passion when you need it the most? You and I kick up, kick up the leaves, and the magic is lost. And then you go back into the chorus. So this is the last chorus. This is where all these random ass versions of B minor start coming in. So the chord pattern for the last verse. So as normal, you've got. Yeah, sorry. So as normal, you've got the D, G, E minor, A, and that repeats twice. Then, hang on a minute. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. It turns out my dogs were barking at the post, and there was something for me, which I would love to say was very exciting, but sadly, it was like kind of a credit card thing. So it was a bit boring, but whatever. Anyway, so, um, sorry, so the chorus, the last chorus, you've got D, G, E minor, A, which repeats. Then you've got the words... 
then it just goes into you had a bad day it seems what you like how does it feel for one more time anyway so what you do you've got the um you've got you play a b minor these are all for four beats by the way so you've got a b minor you then have this version of b minor which basically i kind of listened to the track and went that kind of fits a lot more than the chord that was on the tab so what you do i'm going to call it random mass b minor so you, you have a b minor then what you do is you just take your first finger off so you just have these three fingers on and then you have this random mass b minor then you have b minor seven which if you put your first finger back on so you're playing b minor and all you do is you take your is you take your little finger off so this is b minor seven and then you have another random mass b minor sorry and then a g a g so I'm sorry, very confusing, I'll go through that again. So, um, the entire chord pattern for last chorus, you've got D, G, E minor, A, then another D, G, E minor, A, then you have B minor, random ass B minor, so take your first finger off, and just once again strum the kind of middle four strings. Then you have B minor seven, so you put your first finger back on, take your little finger off. Then you have another random ass B minor, so little finger back on, first finger off. Sorry. And then you have a G. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to quickly play that along with the video. You can hear the guitar. I mucked up the last easy bit, but um, so yeah, so then after that, it just goes back into the same chords as I believe the intro D, G, E minor, A. Okay, I like it. Then it just repeats D, G, E minor, A, which is the first kind of chord pattern of the chorus. So, and to be honest, with all that random B minor stuff, you can always just play B minor the whole way through because basically that's kind of what it is. So, yeah, um. So that's the entire song, so please comment, please rate, please subscribe, and please request. Okay, so my lesson for the day, um, because I'm cool, and just happen to have to hand an A-level biology textbook, much fun. Anyway, so right, um, things, I haven't done biology since, like, what was it, like, last May, probably? Um, this is the joy of being on a gap year, you kind of forget everything. Anyway, so right, the nervous system, very important. So first of all, the big nervous system is made of like two little nervous systems, the peripheral nervous system and the central nervous system. So the central nervous system is like your brain and your spine, and the peripheral nervous system is, um, is kind of like all the nerves that make it up. So from the peripheral nervous system, there are then two systems that make up that one. You've got the sensory the nervous system and the motor you know, the nervous system so the sensory nervous system like kind of carries like any kind of nerve impulses from the um from like the receptor kind of to the middle bit which is normally the central nervous system and then the motor nervous system carries like nerve impulses from the central nervous system to the uh what's it called again to the effector and that's that's much fun and then the motor nervous system is made of the um autonomic nervous system or the and the voluntary nervous system I swear somatic came into it some, somewhere, but sadly I can't remember what somatic means. But anyway, somatic might not even be anything to do with the nervous system. But whatever, I don't need to know it for this year, so it's all good. So please comment, please, please subscribe, and please request.